everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter if it's what sport you're betting on. We have everything for you right here. So we're going to get into some Major League Baseball action for July the 17th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section right here that has all the tools for every sport. Okay, so as we're getting close to the All-Star break, this is the final weekend before the All-Star break, teams really want to head into the break playing well so they can make a second half push towards the playoffs. So let's take a look at six games. It's a full slate of games. We'll take a look at six of them. The first one is the Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals. In this NL East battle, the Braves head to play the Nationals, as I said before, in Washington. Washington comes in dead status. You can see that they've lost their last six. While the Braves are average up, they are, I can get this thing to work the way it should. There we go. <laughs> Braves have won four out of their last six and two and two over their last four. Spencer Strider is scheduled to pitch for the Braves. Washington has not yet named their starter. Strider is 4-2 with a 2.56 ERA, but has been a poor bet at minus $136. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Atlanta's been in games over the line in the last two. Washington also in their last two, but overall, um, if you look at this, um, Atlanta only two times over the line in the last six, and Washington 3-2 and two over the last six. Um, the power ranking indicator shows Atlanta here at plus 14. You can see Washington struggling, and they are just at plus one. The score predictor has Atlanta in a blowout by eight to nothing, with a very high confidence in prediction of 86%. If you look at the volatility oscillator, how stable are the two teams? How consistent are they playing with regards to their favorite underdog status? You can see Atlanta. 26, Washington 24. Both teams are very consistent along those lines. I don't see this as much of a contest. I like Atlanta by several runs in a game going over the line. Boston and the New York Yankees. If you look at this, both teams are coming in struggling. Atlanta, excuse me, Atlanta. Boston has lost their last four and four out of their last six, while the Yankees have lost four out of their last six as well. Chris Sale is scheduled to pitch for the Red Sox, and Jared Cole versus, is scheduled to pitch for the Yankees. If you look at their matchups here, you can see that Sale has no one loss record for the year, and he is at minus 100 on the pitcher profit oscillators. So not a very good bet at the moment. Uh, Cole is 8-2 with a very fine 305 ERA, but he is 0-0 with a 6.92 ERA over his last three starts. So take that into consideration. But overall, here's a good bet at plus 112. The Red Sox have been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six. While the Yankees have been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six, this would lead you to believe that this would be a game going over, but there's a very strong pitching matchup going on here. So I am actually going to go under the line on this one. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the Yankees at plus 22, Boston at plus 9, the score predictor has the Yankees by a 3-1 to one score, which is, falls right in line with me going under. But, but of course, the confidence in prediction at the moment is only about 41%. The stability factor just comes up. I can give you the stability factor. There we go. The Yankees at plus 27. They are very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. But Boston is not only at plus 8. In the end, I like the Yankees in this one. It's going to be a nice game. If you like a pitching duel, Yankees will win by a couple of runs and go under the line. Next game we want to take a look at, as we scroll down through here, the big list of games. You can see the big schedule here. Oakland and Houston. In this AL West battle, you can see the A's need to turn things around. They have lost four out of their last six games. While Houston is average up, they have won four out of their last six games. If you look at the over-under, Oakland has been involved in games over the line in their last three and four out of their last six, while Houston has been even as far as over-under goes in their last six, three, and three. The power ranking indicator shows Houston was at plus 23. They have dipped over just the last day down to plus 12, while the A's are now at plus 8. The pitching matchup has not yet been determined. The score predictor has Houston by an 8-4 score with a confidence and prediction of, of relatively high, 74%. On the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, again, here's a game where both teams have been consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. 
to take a look at that before the game. Houston being at home will be the favorite. I like them to win this game, and I'd like it to be in a higher scoring game. So bet Houston and over the line. Cincinnati and St. Louis. Mets and the Cubs. Here's the next one we want to look at. Two teams heading in opposite directions. The Mets are burning hot at the moment. Winners of their last two and four out of their last six. The Cubs dead status. They have lost their last six and going nowhere fast. The pitching matchup shows Adrian Peterson for the Mets versus Adrian Sampson for the Cubs. If you notice, both teams are a solid bet on the pitcher profit oscillator at plus $308 for Peterson and plus $154 for Sampson. The overall record, um, Peterson is 5-2 and two with a 3.48 ERA, while Sampson is 0-1 with a 3.33 ERA. You notice over the last three starts, both pitchers have been very good. 0.68 ERA for Peterson and 1.76 ERA for Sampson. If you look at the power ranking indicator, plus 18 for the Mets, 0 for the Cubs. They've been on a downward spiral. If you look at the over-under, the Mets have been involved in games over the line in three out of their last six and in their last two, and similar with the Cubs, three out of their last six and in their last two. The score prediction has a 9-1 to one margin of victory for the Mets, a blowout win with 87% level of confidence, so a very high level of confidence there. The teams, the stability factor, the Cubs not very consistent, plus two, which means they're not performing consistently with, their, with regard to their favorite underdog status. While the Mets have, they are a plus 18. I don't really see how the Cubs can come away with a win on this one. It's just everything's falling in line with the, with the Mets win here. I like the Mets in the game going over the line. Seattle and Texas. Pittsburgh and Colorado. Next one we want to look at here is Milwaukee and San Francisco. Both teams are coming in average status. Milwaukee is 4-2 and two over their last... Actually, no, three and three, excuse me, three and three over their last six, while the Giants are four and two over their last six. The pitching matchup, Jason Alexander is set to pitch for Milwaukee versus Logan Webb for the Giants. Alexander is two and one with a 4.73 ERA and a solid bet at plus $109, while Webb is also a solid bet at plus 56, and he has a very nice record on the year 8-3 with a 2.82 ERA, and both pitchers have done well over their last three starts. The score predictor has the Giants by a 6-4 score, but take this with a little bit of grain of salt at the moment because the confidence in prediction is only 22%. If we look at the power ranking indicator, here we see San Francisco was at plus 14. They have jumped up to plus 26 just over the last couple of days. Now Milwaukee is at plus 3. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. Are they performing consistently? Um, neither team performing as consistently as they could. You can see here the Brewers were up at uh, plus, where is this, plus 11 back on May the 20th, and they are now only at plus 6. Similar with the Giants, they were at plus 9 back on May the 17th, and they are only at plus 2. So particularly over the last mm, close to two months now, neither team has been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, so take that into consideration. Uh, as far as the over-under goes, Milwaukee has been involved in games over the line, four out of their last six, but under in their last two, similar with the Giants under in their last two. I like this game to go under as well, and I would go with the Giants at home. So Giants at home and under the line. Arizona and San Diego, we'll take a look at this one as well. This will be the last game on our list. Arizona comes in ice cold down, losers of their last two, and four out of their last six. San Diego dead status, losers of their last three, and five out of their last six. The pitching matchup has Merrill Kelly for Arizona and Mike Clevenger for San Diego. Kelly is 8-5 and five with a 3.36 ERA and a good bet at plus $243. Over his last three starts, he has been a stellar 1-0 with a 0 0.60 ERA. Clevenger, 2-2 two two with a 3.79 ERA and a good bet as well at plus $113. Over the last three starts, a 3.38 ERA, and he won his only decision. The score predictor has Arizona in a 7-1 blowout with a 55% level of confidence. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see here that neither team has been is stellar in that, both on a downward trend. San Diego at plus 7, and... Arizona at plus five.
the consistency factor. Again, here's another situation where neither team has been extremely stable. You can see here that San Diego was at plus nine back as far back as here, May, May the 8th, and they are now at plus six. So for more than two and a half months, they have been very, pretty much very inconsistent. Uh, Arizona had a high on their stability here at plus 11, and they are now at plus seven. So again, they have not been consistent as well. So take the favorite underdog stash for both teams and just throw it out the window. It's not going to really mean a whole lot here. But in the end, I do like uh, Arizona to win, but I would avoid the over-under bet. So there you have it. Those are all the games for Major League Baseball for July the 17th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.